Hi guys, it's Luke here from Breathing Designs and Beard Tech, where technology and design collide with extra beard. Just thought I would join you all and do this broadcast here. We're going to make a logo and do it live and do it with a brief that is very quick from Design Hill, which is a design competition website. So thank you very much for joining me. This is going to be really, really cool, really useful, and it will help you in your graphic design for businesses, for pleasure, for yourself, or for someone else when you are given a brief, like a color scheme or an idea or a concept, even if it's a bit convoluted, you're going to be able to flesh out what to do with the logo design to make a few different proposals and give it to them. So thank you very much for joining me. This is exciting all the way from Australia to the world. This is Beard Tech. So we're going to share the screen here. We're going to jump in to Design Hill. Let's give it a go. All right. So here is Design Hill. We're going to log in here. Uh, we're going to use Canva today as well as GIMP if we need to, the free uh, graphic design software that's similar to Photoshop, but it's open source and free. And what we're going to do is find a logo design project that I feel that I can design for. And we're going to design a couple of different concepts for it. So we'll browse contests here. And again, this is one way to build up your portfolio. Join in here. And oh, design here was changed a bit here. So you've got logo design, business card design, brand identity. All we want is logo design. View that. And we'll have all these proposals that we can join. Now, we can't join the pro ones, but we can design any of these. So you've got white letters on a transparent background. All these different companies are asking people for logo designs for quite cheap. Now, I've never personally won a competition for logo designing but I've used every entry to build up my portfolio, which is now extremely huge. So let's find one that we'll be able to use, that we'll be able to design a logo for, and let's jump into how to conceptualize it. All right, let's check this one here, a new startup. So sometimes these startups are pretty good. And what you want to do is click on Design Brief. And this is their little spill on what they want in their logo. So look at this. Go down here. A modern professional logo for a startup incorporating industrial aspects to the design. So they sell industrial equipment like pumps and fans to new, uh, to large industrial companies. So this is a big, heavyweight sort of uh, industrial looking logo that you're going to want. So something gray, something brown, something high end and industrial with impact like you might see on a truck, on a mug like they're saying here, on a site or on merchandise like shirts. So here we go. You've got some kind of fan gear or impeller with sample picks there. A clean modern looks preferred. Since the name of the company is fairly low, they could use the acronym AIS but don't abbreviate, okay, prefer not to abbreviate. So they want the whole name in there. LLC does not need to be included. The middle-aged male engineers looking at the logo or maintenance supervisors. They interact with high-level management and customers procurement teams. Now here is where it gets interesting. This is where the color scheme and their design that they like comes into play. So you've got Black Hawk here with just an icon and text bit of a shaded industrial feel there, a nice modern logo there that looks like a racing track or a sports team, fractals, you've got this kind of icon thing happening. Here's the color schemes that they're willing to explore. So sort of browns and reds, like I was saying, blacks and grays, greens, more blacks. And well, a couple of suggestions there, but this is the kind of colors they want here. So this is cool. All right, so the name of the company is, what is the name? Applied Industrial Solutions. That's pretty cool. All right, so now my first thing I would do is jump into Canva, click on More when you get to the home screen, and definitely go to the Logo section. 
And what you're going to do with this is get a really good idea of a logo you can create for this company. Now, you're not going to copy the logo they have. You're just going to use a base here. So if it's applied industrial technologies, you're going to want something kind of harsh and modern looking that's heavy. Like looking at it just makes you think this is industrial. This is middle-aged guy on a site. This is like clanging objects, metal bashing together, you know, sharp stuff. Uh, you don't want a feminine pink logo. You're going to want something uh, that's extremely masculine. Okay. This is, you know, engineers we're talking about. So as Canva does, they have such good templates that you basically could design a logo using these, but just make sure you change it way, way, way enough to make it look like your own. So scrolling through here, I know that there are some that most definitely will work because I know there's racing team logos here. There's all manner of templates and there's some new ones I can see added here. So they're always expanding this. And a huge shout out to the guys at Canva for their design elements. They have a huge list of icons, all completely free. And you really can design any logo you wish using this company. So some of these are looking quite good. These sort of engineering uh, architecture designs. So let's try this one here. We've got Halfa Architects, and that's kind of industrial looking, sort of like a jewel. So we'll grab the name of the company, Applied Industrial Solutions. Now let us, let us think together. All right, these are the designs they like. Okay, it's sort of like a two-tone color scheme with one icon that's also got the same colors in it. All right, so we're thinking of the name. We're thinking of the color scheme. We're thinking what can we do with the fonts. So I'm thinking of doing something similar to that logo right there. I really like the look of that simplistic uh, text together with the icon. So let's do that. Applied industrial solutions. Now we can ungroup everything here. Okay, that's all grouped together. We don't want that because then it all moves together. We want separate text, separate icons, everything to be movable, okay? And already I can see this isn't gonna fit here. So we'll change the, the size. And what you're thinking is how can you fit everything together to look uniform, but not uh, squished together and out of place. Okay, you want a two-tone two-tone color scheme that's industrial. You want the fonts to work together, so to be paired really well. But you really don't want anything out of place. So I kind of like the black background as well. So let's see if we can do that. Definitely, okay. We can change the font here to something a little bit more heavy handed um, than what's there. And it's gonna still need to look modern and readable. We don't want anything uh, out of place here that doesn't fit the theme. That's the worst thing we can possibly do. Okay, so that's kind of green and white theme there. So we're going to change that to white, most definitely. Now look for something 
um, an icon that's industrial but not generic. So of course you could just do a gear, but that is generic. You're going to want something a little different to a generic gear. So let's plunk one in there and see what we can do with it. It's going to be a lot we can do with this. So already I'm thinking gears together in a clump or a design on top of this. So we might jump into our elements here and lines. And this will give us a little bit of extra pizzazz to work with here. And the way we're going to erase parts of this um, logo is to use the lines tool and then color them black so that they don't show. And we will then have our own cutout shapes on top of the logo. Now, already I'm thinking as I'm doing this that I should put one split. So split this logo into two by putting the right line in between. So let's do that. So we just need a solid line to split this into two. We could, in fact, use an arrow to just change the shape of it. Then arrange, click that back. Yeah, the arrow is probably not going to work, it's too short. So we'll put something longer. That's more like it. So now we have a sort of snipped up gear. Okay, Applied Industrial Solutions. This font may need a little bit of changing. Maybe something a little fatter. Something a little bit more industrial than that is. And the goal is to just make this stand out by doing unique things that no one else does in this type of design. So the color scheme they want, I know I'm doing this kind of green theme here and they've got a couple of different greens going on. So there, now we have a three-tone color scheme. We've got dark green, light green, and white all together. I'm kind of thinking of putting this LLC perhaps in line with everything else. Just bold on that. And there we have it. That's one mock-up that kind of works really well. It's got this separated gear here, uh, the, the three-tone color scheme we're looking for. This is a good mock-up we could send. And there's other elements too that we could use for sure. Now, one tip uh, with Canva is that there are free icons available 
but to get them all displaying is another thing. So what you're going to do is go into Google and type free Canva on codes. Actually, I've got a different idea because I know Nicolette Styles Canva codes. This is a lady whose entire um, living is built upon helping people design with Canva, Nicolette Von Reich. She knows exactly what she's doing. I've reached out to her before. Use her Canva hacks page to get your codes, okay? And she tells you how to bring up every free element. So you can type into the search box here this code and go to Canva. Press Control V, enter, and you will now have every single free icon, okay, that's available in Canva. And browsing through these, you're going to find icons that will work for any logo if you just change them up a bit instead of just slapping them on there. And there's so many different ways you could do this. And I'm thinking already I've got this black line here. I could copy that, right, and apply that same theme. to the text. So now we've got applied industrial solutions with a sort of cutout feel. I mean, this could work if we do it in the right spot. There you go. We could actually even just do it on the A. There we go, Imp Applied Industrial Solutions. That is gonna stand out. You're gonna know when you see that logo, that's that gear that's cut out, and that's that letter A that's cut out. It brings it all together. The color scheme's okay. Um, I'm kind of thinking as it's green that I'm thinking of apples for some reason because of Applied. But we could always change up that color scheme and do a different mock-up. So all you would do is click Download, download the PDF. And that's one logo mock-up right there. Now, I think we'll do another one based on the other designs. So this is an abbreviated one that they have sort of given as an example. This could actually work doing AIS. Um, I have said that LLC doesn't actually need to be included, so we could get rid of that as well. So that works. So now we just do a new design. Just click on Layouts. And let's change things up and do one similar to the abbreviated one. And there's just so many options here to do this that it boggles the mind. But there's always, always, always something you can use. So let's try Accent Industries, okay? Superb looking logo already. And we will just change it up a bit to fit the theme. So you've got these sort of square theme going on. Uh, I reckon we can pull off a similar abbreviation to this, just with its own style. So, the AIS. And the color scheme, we may do a sort of a, yeah, really dark orange and black one. So I'm thinking of getting rid of that. And we're going to work with this square theme. And I reckon if we perhaps incorporate letters into the squares, 
that is a good uh, trend that's going on at the moment with this type of logo. Okay, we can increase the size of this A big time. We can certainly move that one and for that to blend in we'll make it black so it blends in with the background instead of jumping out. All right, now we'll just change the color of the square. Do a more of a bit of a darker, meaner orange. Kind of a reddy orange. And let's go, I put the letter I as well. So we'll copy that. Just write the letter I. This is good. All right, so we'll move the square. I've got a thought on doing doing this as cascading down. So this will copy the block. We might do a slightly different orange for the block. And then we'll copy one more block. Have it going that direction. And again, we've got a similar orange. Here's our letter S. And again, we'll change the size of the S. Now that's pretty cool. You got to you got to say that's a good abbreviation logo. Uh, there is a bit more we could do with shading and such with the blocks, but I kind of like the simplicity of that. And again, we could actually put the low uh, the company title underneath this. Uh, but again, this is a uniform design where everything works together for the one goal. So AIS. I reckon even perhaps white would work better in the background here. I'm pretty sure. You can change that to white. It might stand out a lot more. I reckon it does. Look at that. And if we actually just change, you know, tilt this S, that could give us a little bit of an edge there with the uh, placement of that S. And we can even do a full stop, I reckon. So we go add a little bit of text, do one full stop, make it bigger. Again, we have a design element sitting there that makes sense. It's still with the block theme, it's in line. There you go, you have AIS dot. And again, they said they don't mind abbreviating. There is probably a way you could uh, add, incorporate the, uh, the company name underneath here in AIS. But again, that works quite well. It's fitting that theme, that industrial theme that definitely looks industrial. You know that's a corporate heavy hitting company. Uh, we could even do, for example, get rid of this full stop, right? Go back to our icons and grab a gear or a similar item and add that as the full stop, something more industrial. 
something more modern and sleek looking that's incorporated into the logo. And again, with this code, everything here is going to come up free because of that code that Nicolette uh, von Reich has offered. So here, I like that shape a lot. Okay, that's a very industrial shape. That can be our full stop. If you put it there like that, A-I-S, full stop. You could even put that on top of the eye. Have a look at that. That's another design element that catches the eye. It's like everything's inside the blocks except for that one circle. You could sit it on top like that. Kind of looks like a ball sitting on a block, but that's the eye, um, the dot on top of the eye. So again, there's different ways you can design just from a brief. This is, again, looking at the designs they have and they like. They give you feedback for this. All you need to do to submit these is just click Submit Design, okay? And then what I would do is convert all of those PDFs to uh, PNG files and upload it. And what you do is, in the details here, you say how you came to get this design. So you'd say uh, that these blocks um, represent, you know, the building blocks of your company or building up to something higher. Uh, you could ascend those blocks the other direction, going upwards like a staircase. You could put that in here, say how you got the color scheme, how it looks industrial and manly and masculine and really fits the bill as a corporation. Uh, and really say how you came to think of this design. And again, you can flesh this out in GIMP using shading and whatnot um, and really hit this home as a, <laughs> as a logo fit for that corporation. There you go, I'm just mucking around with the uh, colors there. So again, this is two completely different logo submissions for the one company. And again, you can do this with any brief, any company. I just picked one at random here. I wasn't checking beforehand. I just had a look at one brief. That's one example of how to make a logo for your company or your business using a brief. And again, you can use this brief for yourself, your own branding. Uh, you can use a brief... Uh, in all different manner of ways. That's just one way to do it and to help other people out who are wanting a design, just tell them what colors do you want? What feel do you want? What company are you? What are you looking for in your company? What's your audience? This company said they were, you know, middle-aged uh, architecture building types uh, who were into industry and, you know, welding and building and uh, massive machinery. This is a huge company. They need something bam, that would drag attention to that company and you'll know it's them. And again, I've done a sign for a church that has a cross incorporated into squares. When you look at that logo, you can find a cross sitting there in between squares. That's using the shapes that are there for you to use in an imaginative, an imaginative way to make another shape that you have to look for in the logo. And that stood out to people and that's one way you can do that. So by the way, I have a video, video editing course available right now. It's only $15 for 10 really short lessons. And again, you can edit films using Filmora or trailers or promos. Incorporate your logos into that. So use your branding and logo skills you're learning from this live stream and others that I have on setting up a YouTube channel and branding. Incorporate that into your intros and your uh, promos uh, and incorporate the editing techniques in the essential video editing course. Now, I've designed this to be really easy. You can do it in a few short sessions. It could only take about two days, three days to finish, and you will have an entire branded package if you listen to this advice, advice from my previous live streams, and the advice in the essential video editing course using Wondershare for more. Don't forget to visit our Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash beertechman for more uh, support for the channel to keep it going. It is something I really like doing. Would love to do more live streams and slides and logo design stuff like this, as well as branding and business cards for you. Or ultimately, this is to help you out for you to grow your channel and your audience the same way I did.
organically from zero from nothing into something really really big and to make you money as well that's my goal so I've been Luke from breathing designs and beer tech you can visit my website just search breathe in designs Taylor bend on Google and you will find me thank you very much have fantastic fun see you in the next live stream bye bye